Hey everyone. So in this video, we are going to take a look at how we can save the approval summary in a PDF document. So recently I have uploaded a video that is for expense approval in Power Automata and SharePoint. Here, what I use whenever the new expense is submitted, it will go through the certain approvals. For that, I have used the start and wait for action in our Power Automate. So once the approval is completed, the workflow will be done. So one user commented on that, is there a way that uh, we can save this approvals as a PDF, right? So there are multiple approvals and if you want to see all of the approval, past approvals, data, so whoever responded to that approval, like whether it's a request is approved or rejected. So is there a way, can we get a PDF of that? So yes, there is a way. So for that, you have to go to Microsoft Teams, then you have to go to approvals app. So might be the approval app is not visible to you. So you can just click on the ellipses, search for the approvals here, and it will ask you to add that application. So once the app has been added, you can see all of the your approvals in here. So whenever you open any approval, you will get a option to save it as a PDF. So once you click on save, it will generate a PDF like this. So the title of the approval and whatever the response of all the approvals. So whether it's approved or rejected. So this is the out of the box thing. So every time you have to go to Microsoft Teams to generate this document, you have to click on save PDF. So I figured it out a way like how we can automate this process and we just have to attach the approval file on email, let's say. So here I have sent a dummy email for this app application. I have used the leave request. So whenever I click on that document, so it will generate a document like this one. So the approver or reject, whatever the title is here, then it will take a data from the SharePoint list item, like title, start date, end date, all this kind of thing. And here we are giving the complete approval summary. So let's say the first approver is uh, myself. So whatever the request date is, whatever the response date is, and what is the approval comment for the second user as well, it will have all these kind of dates. Right. So this we are going to see how we can do that. For this action, we don't require any premium connector. So this is completely done using the existing Power Automate connectors. First, I will show you uh, what is the scenario here. So this is very basic one. I have just added a SharePoint list uh, called as a leave request. And in that I have taken a few columns. The title, start date, end date, leave type and the request a comment. So whenever the item is added to the list, the Power Automate flow will be triggered and it will send approval to two persons. So currently I have hard coded that value like there are three users in my tenant. So first it will go to myself and the second one is called a user one. So the approval will go to these two users. So whatever the response they gave, like the first user gave up to second user will get rejected. So the when the approval is completed, we are going to generate a PDF summary of that and we are going to send it as an attachment on the email. So first I will give you a demo how it works. So here I'm currently logged in as a user 2. I will add a new item and the title will be let's say see clip. The start date will be and end date will be let's say 26. I will put the comment as sick leave only. Once I save the item, so we will wait for Power Automate to run the flow. I will go to Power Automate approvals. So here we will check whether the flow is run or not. So we'll wait for a minute to run this flow. The flow has been run successfully and here for the both user I received an email. 
so this is the first one that says the live request from whatever the user has submitted the request and the name will be appear here i got the two options whether approve or reject i will approve here so let's say i will put a comment as approved by the first one I will for the second user as well i receive the email notification and from here as well let's say i will approve this and here i will put comment as approved by user 1 i will hit submit now the approval action is completed because these both two user have already approved the request now it will create a summary create a pdf document and send the email to the whoever created that request so user email you can see the live request has been approved these are just the basic uh, email body i have used our main content is the in the pdf file so you can see the approved live request from user 2 what is the title start date end date live type so these are the details that we have submitted in sharepoint list and these are the outcomes so let's say this is approved by user 1 so whatever the comment the approver put in here here and this is for the user 2 so this is we are doing it completely automated i will show you the flow now i'll go to power automate i'll click on edit so here is our flow i will zoom in so when the item is created so the side it is and list name i have already added we are going to initialize a when variable uh, by document content because whatever the content we are storing in this pdf file so we are going to need a when variable because we are going to use html formatting and this is the request title so whatever the title i have added in sharepoint list i am just storing in that variable you can directly take it from the sharepoint but for this i have the request title then we are initializing start and wait for an approval so the approval type is everyone must approve so this is completely up to you like if you want to change this action you will have to change it but for this demo i have used the everyone must approve title i have given assigned to so there are two person i have assigned but generally what we do like whenever user submit the request the approval will go to the users manager which we automatically get from the office 365 users get manager action in our power automate but for this i have used the static value so the first one will go to myself and second approval will go to user 1 i did not add any details so after that whatever the response is created i am just going to append all the responses in the where document content so the variable that just we initialize here the reason is we have taken multiple approval approver users so there are two approver right so it will generate a array of object format and as i mentioned like we are going to use the html for creating a document that's why i use the paragraph tags and bold tag so you can see the approver name is here approval email request date i think it's a completion date my mistake completion date so all this kind of value you get directly using dynamic content so start and wait for approve all these values i am getting directly from here i am not using any custom code for this just you have to, let's say this is the completion date you will just have to search for completion date and you have to select this by default it will go to apply to each because as i mentioned there are multiple and whenever you select any action it will automatically go into apply to each loop so this kind of thing let's say approve name email we are showcasing in here so this is you can see the approve name approve email request date completion date and response so this kind of thing we are initializing here so after that we want to create a html file because we cannot directly create a file based on this do, uh, data we get here so i found a blog 
in that they have mentioned that we have to create a HTML file in our OneDrive. So let's say you have to select the action called create HTML file. Here you have to give a folder path, then full name of the file. So currently I did I just use the UTC now because it will give always the unique value for the file and the extension will be HTML. So the file content will be like this. So I've just used chat GPT to generate this kind of layout for me. Then here I am going to use whatever the response and the title of the app tool. You can see now this is the part where title start date and end date I am showcasing. So this is something that I am using the here the title start date end date. So all these values are coming from SharePoint list. So this is really easy. Then after that, the final response will be the outcome. So whatever the outcome of the approval. So there are multiple person I am sending approval to. So the outcome will be in the comma separated value. So let's say both user approved, then it will say approve comma approve. Then similarly, here I am just using a variable where document content. I am not directly adding the data here because if there are multiple approval, then we don't have the way directly to add the document. Right. So this is append to string variable where document content this variable I am using in here. So once the HTML is completed. Now the second thing is we have to convert that HTML into PDF. So there is a action called convert file using path. So you just have to give a file path and the file path you will get from the above action. So you just have to select the dynamic content and search for a path here. So here you have to directly select this one. So after that it will uh, generate a PDF based on this file. And this is completely optional step. If you want to store this PDF in a SharePoint document library, you can do that. So this is really simple. You just have to use the action called create a file in. So this is the name I have given create file. You have to select the site address, folder path, whatever the file name and the file content. So file content you will get from the above action. This convert using HTML to PDF. So here on the dynamic content, you just have to search for the file content. So it will directly give you the value. Now after that, I'm just checking whether the approval status is approved or rejected. So based on that, I'm sending an email. So once the response is approved, then I'm sending the approval email. And if it's rejected, I'm going to send the rejected email. So both email are same, only the change in the subject line. So here, I'm sending email to whoever submitted that request. So the created by email after that, the status will be re request is rejected in the rejection case. So here just the basic detail I am showcasing and the main thing is our attachment. So for the attachment, I have used the name and content bytes. So the name will be whatever the file we have generated. So currently what I did is I am just adding the file in SharePoint document library. So here is my SharePoint site and this is my document library. So I am adding the files here and I have took a name directly from that. So if you select the dynamic content, if you search for the file, I guess it's not giving the suggestion, but yeah, if you search for the file name, it will directly show you the body slash name from this create a file action. And for the content, you just have to select the file content from the OneDrive action from the, this one convert file using HTML. So after that, our workflow is completed and you might want to use the update item here if you want to use because once the request is approved or rejected, you also want to change the status in your SharePoint list. So this you can do that. So this is how our workflow is designed to save the approval summary and we can directly send the approval in the email. So we will save a lot of time. So let's say every user want to see whatever the response so they don't have to go to Microsoft Teams every time to see the history. They can just select the email, 
they can just open this PDF and they can see all the details here. So if you have any questions or any doubts, you can please let me know in comments. Thanks for watching.